Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode of a tutorial, we want to take a look at creating regular walls. Uh, we all know drawing a wall is pretty easy in Revit, especially you can go to the architectural tab and draw a straight wall. But if you have a tapered wall or any reg regular wall that you want to draw, you need to uh, start a, a different process to create those. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create those irregular walls in Revit. Also, we're going to tell you a little bit difference and a limitation between the Revit LT and a full version of Revit when it comes to this option. And we're going to show you how to basically load that model into your project. So let's jump into Revit. We can review the process together. Um, so we all know how to draw walls. Um, you can come over here, architecture tab, walls, you can get structural, architectural, you can delete it, uh, click on it, and basically you have a straight wall that you can do it. But in some cases, if you want to have a regular wall, anything that is tapered off, has a radius at the end, has like a different shape that you need to draw with a specific dimension, you need to create that. So the way that we can create these type of walls, we need to go to component. A quick note over here. So if you are using Revit LT, you do not have the model in place. Uh, uh, basically option right here. You only have to place a component. So it's better to this. This basically works in full uh, version of Revit. So what I'm going to hear component model in place open up the family category and parameters um, so we need to select the wall you can basically scroll down select the wall or you can just type walls over here it basically bring it up you can select the main reason that you are selecting the walls we're asking Revit to apply wall attributes to the geometry that we want to create because when there's a wall then you can put the uh, uh, doors in windows in and anything that you want to do like a curtain walls and all the other items that you want to use but if you select a different category that's not going to be probably possible to put the doors in if you let's say select the ceiling or any different category so just make sure when you come over here uh, select the wall and hit ok next is going to ask you to um, type a name um, let's just put our, our walls and then you hit OK. So as soon as you click on that, you'll be you go to a sketch mode. So the sketch mode is all the time you finish cancel button over here and you can see all of these different forms. You have extrusion, uh, ex extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep, and everything. We're going to go through all of these later on, but for now, let's just start with um, extrusion. So I'm going to click on this, and you have all the different type of tool to draw. This is basically the same concept that any time you click, go to a sketch mode. In Revit, you have access to all of these modifying tools. So I'm just going to select line, and just for the sake of this training, I'm going to go different shape. I'm pretty sure if you have a specific item um, you are kind of going exactly uh, per dimension oh uh, let's just do like a different shape anything that is not easy okay let's do something like that and when you are done just make sure you hit okay so it says lines cannot insert oh, oh there you go okay so this is an area that I have a problem and uh, basically Revit is going to tell you anytime you have different geometry going through each other, you before you close the loop, it's going to give you a, a warning. And right now, I'm, when I click on it, show, it basically highlight that area, right? So if you basically go to expand, it's going to give you all the different tools that okay this is why it's wrong and then it's going to highlight the area for you um so what we need to do right here is if i want to continue i can basically just get rid of that one also get over here get rid of this one it's just kind of easy i can go back over here let's just adjust make here smaller and then there you go I close it out so you guys can see how easily if even you're not noticing with like a different 
lines going through each other. Uh, when you close the loop, Revit is going to tell you that this is a, a geometry interference, so you need to fix it. Done, yes, mode. So this is my wall. So basically, I kind of create a wall. It's easy. And you guys can kind of go through all of these, edit the type, change the material, what work plan you're working on, what's going to be the height. And you can basically add it to the subcategory if you are cre creating a specific one uh, for the trim or like any edges you can add to it. And you will be able to see these invisibility. So if I click on, let me just close this, finish the wall click on visibility so if I come down all the way to wall section uh, so these are all the subcategories that I was talking about so if you basically when you create your wall um, you first we select the category for the wall so it's gonna be over here you can see it in a visibility graphic and also when you create uh, when you select a subcategory is gonna be assigned to any of these so you can turn them on and off you can put them on a different set um, you can do anything that you want right and let me just go to a 3d view so you guys will be able to see my wall so this is basically just my wall. I can extrude it up and then make it bigger. Let me just change the shade. So you guys, so this is kind of the different type of wall that you can see. And uh, this is really, really easy. You can basically select that and then load it to your project. Also, if you are working in a live uh, model, right? Let's say you work in a live model, you wanna add a, a wall over here and you have the dimensions, you wanna have a, like a different shape. So you need to do the same theme. So basically architectural component, modeling place, I select walls. I mean, you wanna name it, um, I don't know, like, what is this room? Like wall RR, this is room 108. Oops, okay. So let's just do wall. Okay, and then okay, again, takes you back to the same area using extrusions. I have the tools, I have all the levels. This is the same block, uh, all the different material if you wanna do subcategories right here if you wanna assign to so you can turn them on and off in your visibility area. Um, I'm gonna click on this. If I wanna have the walls, let's say I wanna go over here, go just a bit, and then like in a different shape, kinda coming down to this corner and I don't know, i'll just kind of close let's say if i want to do the wall like this so same thing over here we draw it model in place we said that's approved you'll be able to kind of see it in the model the reason that i just want to go back over here and show you guys something is um we kind of defined that this is the wall right so i want to apply a door so i just want to put the door right here let's say um, let's we'll just do like a window let's we'll say over here so you guys know how it's gonna look like right if I go to the 3d so you'll be able to kind of see that I place those windows and the and, uh, doors inside the wall so if you wanted to have all walls attributes you got to make sure you select the category I think drawing it is easy it's just a little uh, know that when you draw it, you got to make sure you select the category for wall. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.